we always see a, a peak in the summertime with respect to violence. That's what we call seasonality with respect to crime kind of following certain seasons. You have, you have multiple things that all occur at the same time. So to, to pick one of those will be really hard, but there are multiple of those. So the first one is um, we do know that in the summertime, um, kids are out of school. Um, and, and so there, there is an opportunity factor to that. We also know that there's a lot of social gatherings that occur in the summertime compared to other times of the year because of those factors. We also know that during the summertime, you know, people are a little bit more um, prone to anger, uh, so to speak. You know, the weather is warmer. There, there is some element of truth to that. In, in normal circumstances, when you have a shooting on the street, you don't have 10 people shot. You have one or two. But now that we're seeing these high capacity ammunitions with these modified weapons in the hands of people who aren't authorized or legally supposed to have them to begin with, that's actually one of the things that's most contributing. Law enforcement officers know their local, you know, councilmen, mayors, governors, you have to address the needs of your constituents of your community. What New York City needs, probably very different than what Idaho needs, just in terms of who lives there, the population, the crime rates, so we need to address things at the local level. We are actually coming down from a COVID spike in violence. It may seem odd for people to realize that when you see these shootings, like what happened in Arkansas with multiple fatalities and even a higher number of people who were who were shot and injured. Um, but we did peak in 2021 with respect to violence, uh, especially homicides and shootings. We're, we're still um, a little bit higher than we were pre-COVID, but we're going down in the right direction.